Hi, I'm Chris Franco. This is my project for fundamental physics. I'm doing it on floating objects, buoyancy and density, what floats, and what sinks. So, this egg right here, as you can see, it will float in this water. It floats, but it doesn't float all the way because some of the water is being pushed away from it. And some of it sinks down because of how heavy it is, but it's amount it's the amount of water being pushed away from it. So the water's being pushed away, so it lets it float more. Now as you can see this coin, if you put it in water, it's too heavy, so no water is pushed away, and it sinks to the bottom and it stays there, as you can see. This floats because it pushes water away. This doesn't because it's heavy and it doesn't have the amount of force to push away even though it's heavy. Now you'd think like, you know, a, a real boat is really heavy like a real boat, but if you were to put a boat in an ocean, it, it's heavy enough and the way that it's actually like set up and everything, uh, the boat would actually float because it pushes water away. <laughs> okay. Alright. So, this floats because of the buoyancy in it. As Archimedes says in one of his laws, things float. Any object wholly or partially immersed in a fluid is buoyed up by a force equal to the weight of the fluid displaced by the object. Meaning that if the buoyancy is right enough, then it'll float. And if the matter, if there's not enough matter in it, then it'll float. But if there's not, and it's dense, then it's gonna sink like this coin, as you can see. <laughs> so yeah, everything has to do with density, volume, and buoyancy. So yeah, there it goes. Hi. Um. Okay. So things float. Because of less density, and I mean like the, the correct term for density is the quantity of something per unit measure, a complexity of structure or the object, so how much it weighs or like the mass of it or something, like the complexity of it, so, or the structure. So if, if it's less dense, it's going to float, like this egg, but if it's more dense, it will sink. And then it has to do with buoyancy. And like the legal definition for buoyancy is the upward pressure exerted upon a floating body by a fluid, which is equal to the weight of a body. So if this is exerting the water and pushing it away more from the buoyancy, then it will float. And if there is no buoyancy, but it's more dense, then it's going to sink. Right, cool.